Hello everyone and welcome to this week's game devlog on the Stars or Destination, a turn-based strategy flight game. Taking a break from the programming side, relatively speaking, and working on some other disciplines this week. Let's get into it. Hello Animation Brick, my old friend. I've spent a lot of time working on one mode out of the three for the intended game. The strategy screen already had some workable art, but not the hub world. It was just cubes and the regular skybox, so I just made some temp assets in a sprite. Polish will be coming later in development. All I did was make a tileable background, floor, and an AI character. The AI serves as an NPC to start current missions when the player is ready. All I did was just add some eyeball animations, and it will look down on the player if the player is in the interaction box, and it has to finish its animations before moving on so that it doesn't stutter. Speaking of the player, I also made a temp character. After a few flubs, the basic run animation was implemented, which is fine since the hub world isn't mechanically intensive. To refresh myself on the walking and running animations, I had to go back to the Animator Survival Guide by Richard Williams, the animation director of Roger Rabbit. I know who it is. I got him on loan from Disney. Him and half the cast of Fantasia. Very handy book. Every animator should read it. Point is that the player moves and activates the strategy screen. The intended gameplay loop for the basic demo goes as follows. Start in the hub, go to the supercomputer AI, and start the mission. Move your pilots to achieve mission goals in the strategy screen. When they engage with enemies, that's when flight mode activates. Win battles to get back to the strategy screen. Repeat strategy and flight mode until mission objectives have been achieved. Then the player will be transported back to the hub world where the narrative moves along. Then the next mission becomes available. Within that cycle, I've gotten the tutorial dialogue for the strategy screen, and when you hover the cursor around the enemy, it actually shows the conditions for victory and the difficulty. It also transitions to flight mode when colliding too. Still need to implement those loose conditions though, which is to keep the mothership from being destroyed, or losing all your pilots. Moving on. The other big thing the game was missing was, of course, audio. Music is currently my weakest discipline, but I've been doing a ton of research through various sources be it YouTube or books, even participating in month-long events from time to time, so I thought it'd be best to go over my process. Maybe I'll cover music more in depth for what I have planned later on when things are more fleshed out. Using whatever music theory and composition I know, I start in MuseScore to get it down in sheet music. I like starting in sheet music because I can get a good look at the motifs I'm using and I can find ways to add variations to them while still being consistent. We like repetition in our music after all. After the first iteration, I bring it in for feedback. Again, my weakest discipline. After I'm happy with it, I get it into an actual music software and make it less like a piano recital and more like science fiction. After getting the proper notes and beats per minute in, I'll just add it via importing the MIDI file. And all I did was just add a synth VST, then getting it into the game. If you like what you hear, there's a slightly longer version below. I'd appreciate the honest feedback. I'm still learning a DAW, or Digital Audio Workstation as I go. Next time I hope it'll be polished and better. It was actually nice to work on something different, but back to the number crunching next week. Polishing the enemy AI, getting more logic into the strategy screen, and continuing to learn Blender to make actual planes, eventually. That'll be it for this week. Subscribe or feel free to join the Discord server if you like what I'm doing. Let me know if you have any questions or feedback. Take care of yourselves and have a good week.